In this series, we're going to review capabilities of JetBrains IDEs. They offer a rich set of features to increase developer productivity. To demonstrate features, I'm going to use PHP Storm IDE, but most of the features that we are going to review will also be applicable to other JetBrains IDEs. IntelliJ, PyCharm, CLine, WebStorm, and so on. We are mostly going to focus on the functionality of the IDE. And if you are interested in UI customizations related to changing themes, configuring fonts, and other UI aspects of the IDE, there is a separate playlist on the channel where we have configured interface of PHP Storm step by step. And now let's get going. And the first thing that we are going to do is to enable Presentation Assistant, because I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts a lot in this series. And this option allows us to see used keyboard shortcuts on the screen. So I'll open up global search by pressing shift twice, search for presentation assistant, and enable this feature. And then I'm going to configure this assistant a bit. Let's open up settings by pressing command comma. In here I'll search for presentation assistant settings. And what I'm gonna do in here is decrease font size of keyboard shortcuts. And also besides showing macOS keyboard shortcuts. I'm also gonna show Windows shortcuts. So let's start reviewing features of the ID with global search. To open it up, we have to press shift twice. And here we can start typing our search query and right away we're going to see a bunch of results. We can navigate through these results by using arrow keys up and down. And to quickly go to the bottom of this list, we can press command arrow down and to quickly jump at the top of the list, we can press command arrow up. As you can see, there are a bunch of tabs in this panel, and all these tabs allow us to search for individual elements in our project. So if we'd like to search for classes by using class name, we have to press tab to switch to the second tab called classes. And here we can use class names to search only for classes. The search tab files allows us to search by using file name. For stop symbols is used to search for specific symbols in the projects, such as class names, method names, functions, constants, and so on. The next tab is called actions. Here we can search for commands that we can execute right from within this panel. There are lots of different commands that IDE offers us. But besides running commands, we can also use this tab to search for specific settings and toggle those settings without having to open up settings panel and search for those settings there. And finally, the last tab in this global search panel is called text. This panel only shows matches in the content of files. So basically, this is usual global search. And besides navigating to these individual tabs by using tab key, we can also open up specific tab right away by using keyboard shortcuts. For example, to open up second tab called classes, we can use command O on Mac or Ctrl N on Windows. To open up files tab, we can use shift command O. Then we can press option command O to open up symbols tab. To open up Actions tab, we can press Shift Command A or Control Shift A on Windows. And as was already mentioned previously, the Global Search panel allows us to search not only for classes, files, or text within files, but also we can search for ID settings. And we can toggle those settings from this panel. All the settings are categorized, so to search for the specific category, we have to use slash and type in category name. And this way we're going to see all the settings that belong to the specified category. And we can also toggle individual settings on and off by pressing enter. And in the same way we can also enable or disable certain plugins. As you might have noticed, some comments have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them and some of them don't. So for example, new branch does not have a keyboard shortcut assigned, but we can easily 
assign keyboard shortcut to a particular command right from this global search panel. For this we have to select command and then press option enter. Then we're gonna get such dialog where we can assign keyboard shortcut to this action. There is one feature called abbreviations which allows us to quickly access certain commands right from within global search. Let's take a look how it works. So for example, I would like to quickly search for the command called close all tabs. And to be able to do so, I will have to assign abbreviation to this command. To do this, let's open up settings by pressing command, comma. Here, I'll select keymap and search for command name. In our case, it is close all tabs. Then I will right click on the command and select add abbreviation. And I'll use first letter of each word in the command name. And after this, this command will be easily searchable by using abbreviation. Let's open up global search by pressing shift twice and search for abbreviation get. And as you can see, we have found the corresponding command close all tabs. I have assigned this abbreviation just to demonstrate this feature. So I'm gonna go back to the settings and remove this abbreviation. Moving on, the first tab from the global search panel shows all search results, not only those that have been found within content of the files. It combines results from all tabs. But to see only search results within the content of files, we have to navigate to the tab called text. And as we can see in here, we have only those search results that have been found within the content of files. And in case you don't like to display search results within the content of files in the global search panel, we can disable it. Let's open up settings and search for advanced settings. In this search field, I'm gonna type in search everywhere. And to disable searching within the content of files by using global search panel, we have to Disable this checkbox, show text, search results in search everywhere. Now let's open up global search by pressing shift twice once again. And this time, as we can see, we no longer see search results within the content of files. And the text tab is no longer displayed. There is another way to do global search within content of the files. And to run this global search, we can press command shift F. Here we can start typing our search query and see search result in such view. But I still prefer to show search results within global search panel, so I'm gonna open up settings and activate this option show text search results in search everywhere. Additionally, we can also search for git branches and commits by using the content of those commits. So we can add another tab called git in here. Let's open up settings, move to advanced settings. Let's search for git, scroll to the very end and activate the following option, show git tab in search everywhere. And there we go. Now inside the search panel, we have an additional tab called git. In here we can search for git branches and commits by using the text in those commits. And finally, there is one more feature of the global search panel that we are going to review, and that is mathematical expressions. We can use this global search panel to do basic math by executing simple arithmetic operations and using simple mathematical functions such as square root. And right away we're seeing the result of this expression. With that we have reviewed main features of the global search panel.